It is Friday at the AESC, and with Danny Taylor allowing only two goals a game in the first round sweep against the Milwaukee Admirals, we thought we'd catch up with the puck stopper from the Abbotsford Heat and his goaltending coach, Jordan Sigalet. Uh, you know, I thought we played uh, solid hockey. You know, I don't think we played our best. So um, all three games, like there's parts of that that we played, you know, real well. But there's other times that we kind of, uh, you know, uh, gave a few things away. And I think there's a lot to improve on going forward. Uh, yourself personally hadn't had a ton of playoff starts in the American Hockey League. What was that like? And did you did you feel nerves or tension early on in that series, game one maybe? Yes, absolutely. Like uh, you you play the whole season like. Like, uh, you know, it's like it's a playoff game, but when it actually comes around, it's a lot different. You know, like the, you know, there's not, it's not as if there's more fans or anything. It's just pressure from within our team to, to play well. And that's, and that's what gets you. And that's what you've got to really calm your nerves down and just try not to play with any emotion. And just try to do your job as best you can. You and Leland have taken turns backing up each other. How's that relationship worked and, and where is it at now between the two of you? It's great. You know, I get along with him really well. He's, uh, you know, he's such, he's such a mature 23-year-old. I don't think I've ever met a guy that's gone, you know, that's in further in life than he is uh, outside of hockey. So I really get along with him well and I respect him a lot. Yeah, no, we're in a great situation. Obviously, uh, Danny's been great for us for the last couple months of the season. Um, ever since Leland went up, you know, he stepped in there, took on that role as a number one, and he's been rolling with it. And at the same time, you know, Leland's been a great t teammate, uh, really supportive, standing behind Danny 100%. So to have that tandem, you know, we're lucky to have that. Are you seeing more two-man tandems in, in NHL and the pro ranks in terms of getting things done rather than the traditional one-two? Yeah, I think it, it's a good system. It works well. It uh, gives that... Uh, number one guy, a little bit of a rest, and you know, to have two guys going, you never know what's going to happen as far as injuries go and call ups go. Um, just to have that second guy in the mix, you know, makes a big difference. Is Taylor playing as well as you've seen all season? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just confidence uh, when he's in there every game. You know, he keeps building on that confidence and getting better and better every game. And um, he, he just plays a calm and collect game, and you know, it calms our team down and uh, just makes it easier to play. The Abbotsford Heat will find out tonight who they play in the second round. The San Antonio Chicago game determines whether the Heat will travel to Toronto or Oklahoma City to start off a second round best of seven in this 2012 Calder Cup playoffs. A Chicago win will send the Heat to Oklahoma City. A San Antonio win would send the Heat to Toronto. For more information on the club, head to our website, abbotsfordheat.com, where they'll be scheduling up as soon as we know about round two of the Calder Cup playoffs.